How is growing a business like potty training? My name is Jen Glidden. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. And this past weekend, I was just potty training my two-year-old son. So I want to share this with you because I found it really helpful to get an idea of how quickly we can actually create a new identity for ourselves. And a lot of times when I see people struggling in business, it's because they have not created the identity of a successful business owner in their own mind. It has nothing to do with their capabilities, their talents. It's more a matter of who they consider themselves to be. So real quick, I'm going to share with you my son's experience. On Friday, he woke up and we told him that he was going to start going on the potty and wearing big boy undies and it was going to be great. And so through the day, um, he had some accidents and, and by the end of the day, he was starting to associate what was going on before it happened. So we were able to keep some dry pants, which was great. Now, um, the first night he wore a diaper. Saturday, we went through, we had some great success. Saturday night, I offered him the option to wear a diaper or his big boy undies. And you know what he said? He said his big boy undies. Because at that point, he had already claimed that identity. He was living it. He was living that identity of a big boy already. And so he wore his big boy undies and he went through the whole night dry. Now, it's it's really impressive to me to see how quickly this has happened for my son. Now, is he 100% potty trained? It's We're on day four, so he's not 100% there yet. However, his identity is there. He gets it. He knows what it will look like. And so he's striving to catch up to that vision that he understands now. Um, it's amazing to me, first of all, how much um, just little things can impact our children, but it's the same thing with us. It's the same thing how we live our lives, um, what we surround ourselves with, the words we tell ourselves, all of those things create our reality. And so if you are striving to be a more successful business person, then start visualizing what that will look like. Who will the people that you are surrounding yourself with, who will they be? Are they going to be successful people who are getting out there, moving and shaking and doing it and, and setting the bar high for you? Or will they be the people that may be surrounding you right now who are offering no encouragement, who, who may not even understand what you're doing? How can you get to surround yourself with people who are building their own businesses and understand what it's all about? Um, so I wanted to share this with you. I hope that it's helpful. If it is, please like it and share it so other people can benefit. And I appreciate you watching. I'll talk to you next time.